Good morning. Um, the sun is about to rise, but it's showing up as dark for some reason. But I know that um, it's six, almost seven right now. So it's not dark. Anyways, <clears throat> so that's what I'm talking about. Like what you see is not what's going on. It's an illusion. <clears throat> um, but yeah, let me start with uh, protection from Archangel Michael. So I'm going to start with the Trinity, all right? Archangel Michael, Lady Isis, and Lord Buddha, okay? He says, God is in charge, and that was, was that was what he said yesterday. So we'll see what he says today. Like, I used to, you know, <clears throat> right before and pray and all that. But now that um, I'm doing this every morning... This is my way of connecting to the divine. And then I can write later on. I don't have to pray or write or do any of that right away. I can do this and then be done. I'm connected and then I can pray if I want. But I already done this. So this is like, um, this. yeah, this is like my way of, of connecting to the divine. And also... Um, if you watch this video, you're also connected to the divine. If you support it, if you don't, then, you know, you're just hating. So either way, <clears throat> whether you support the divine or you don't, it will show regardless. It will, it will show through your actions and thoughts and beliefs and all of that. It will show, it will show who you're really loyal to, whose side you're really on. Yep. So whatever you're trying to hide, uh, whatever you're trying to manipulate, all of that is seen. Yep, it's everything is seen. Yep, so when the wrath comes, just like the tower, you will know if it's a good kind of wrath or a bad kind of wrath. But it's coming. It's coming. It's already here. It's actually already here. It's here and it's been watching and it's been yeah it knows what's it knows what's happened because it's been watching yep so remember when i was like uh you big watch you see let go of fear now i mean he's watching they're all watching so you will find out who well, you'll find out who you are It's who you've been loyal to the whole time. Yep. So you know, you know exactly what kind of wrath you're gonna get. Romance angels are helping you. And let me, look at that. Take your time making this decision. <laughs> All right. Be gentle with yourself. Use your imagination and you'll see the answer. Admit the truth to yourself and act accordingly. And eternal love. Yes, eternal love. Hands down, eternal love. That is God's love right there. It's eternal. And it's the kind of love that you've had, but have been searching for in this realm. But because it's being blocked by these demons, that's why it's not happening. So it's not God causing this, it's the demons blocking this. Yep. So God is trying to, you know, give you this, but these demons are purposely blocking this. Now you know why it's not happening. And now you know why it's so rare. Because these demons are blocking, doing this on purpose. Because they know. They know. So if they know what God is trying to do, then God knows what they're doing. <laughs> yeah. Um, eternal love. All right. So what is uh, Lady Isis' message? Truths unveiled. Okay, that was yesterday's message. 
Healing the Divine Masculine, Osiris Rises. Oh my God. Temple of Lapis Lazuli. Divine Sisterhood. Serpent of Fire. Wow. Again, Temple of Lapis Lazuli. <clears throat> so, let's see what she wants to say. Lady of the Stars. Oh my God. He of Life. Abundance of Sothis. And. Pearl of Light. <clears throat> Bottom of the deck is <clears throat> Temple of Lapis Lazuli. Okay? So, whatever she's saying, it has to match what Archangel Michael is saying. So, it's about eternal love. Because that's what God is saying. Oh... That's what it is. Eternal love is the key of life. Oh, okay. All right. So um, that is the message for today because it goes with um, what, what Archie <clears throat> Uncle is saying. All right. So if, if the eternal love is the key of life, then Lord Buddha is going to have to say something is going to have to support that, okay? So he said, letting go, number three. I mean, that's the emphasis number. <laughs> yes. Number five, your pure understanding. Number 14, awareness. <clears throat> Number 17, forgiveness. Okay. Attachment is number two. Okay. Energy, number 36. Pure thought, number six. Attachment, number two, again. And... Pure livelihood number nine. So I have to see what fits what they're saying, okay? <clears throat> you're never, so number 36 energy is, you're never alone or, or helpless. The force that guides the stars guide you to, oh my God. All right, number 36 um, has promise. Number six, pure thought. We're shaped by thoughts. We become what we see and think. When the mind is pure, joy follows like a shadow that never leaves. Buddha. <clears throat> and then number 36 energy. It's Sri, wait, Sri Sure. And then the more, and then the, I can't even say this. Okay, let me reread this. 36 energy you are never alone or helpless the force that guides the stars guide you too Sri sure Ananda Murti okay that's who said that and then number six pre thought um, Buddha said that and then number two attachment attachment to desire is a cause of suffering Buddha said that too as well and number nine pure livelihood your work is to, is to discover your world and then, with all your heart, give yourself to it. Buddha said that as well. Wow. So, um, okay. I'm in between energy and pure livelihood. Yeah. 
Yeah, no, 36 energy, hands down. So this is what um, the cover looks like. I forgot to show that yesterday, but I'm gonna show it again um, today. All right. And it's number 36, energy. You are never alone or helpless. The force that guides the stars guides you too. Shri Shur and Nandamurti. Energy is more than just cultivating physical boundless energy. It is making the connection with the universal force that motivates all creations in the universe and in you. Oh my God. Yep. That's it. Yep. So it all makes sense because they all support each other. And when it happens, that's when the truth comes out because they all support each other. If one of them, um, if one of them opposes these viewpoints, then somebody's lying. That's how you know. Okay. Um, all right. So let me go ahead and show you the, the trilogy, Trinity, trilogy three. The Holy Family, the Divine Family. So it starts out with Archangel Michael, Eternal Love, and then uh, Lady Isis, Key of Life, and Lord Buddha, number 36, Energy. Yep, that is the message for today. And they all support each other. That is the Trinity. Yep. Father, figure, mother figure, and child. That's the tri that's the Trinity right here that you're seeing. It's just in different forms because there's different interpretations of that Trinity. But as long as they support each other, then then you have the truth. Let's see what the tarot deck has to say. Look at that. Ooh, nine of pentacles. Yes. Queen of pentacles. Four of pentacles reversed. Death. came out fell out look at that ten of cups and oh my look at that okay oh my god look at that the ten of cups ten of uh i'm just gonna go with this okay ten of cups ten of pentacles and then i saw death Nine of Pentacles. And, ooh, look at that. Six of Wands. Yes, that's it. That's it. And whatever happens, happens, okay? I'm not even going to shuffle this. Wow, look at that. That is positive right there. So because we saw um, the Pre-Empress, the Nine of Pentacles, come up before, so this is what she wants to share, okay? Um, you will get a happy ending with the Ten of Cups as long as you stay positive. Look at that. Ten, ten. That's a divine number right there. Ten of Cups and Ten of Pentacles. Ten, ten. Not only are you happy, but you're also abundant and you're leaving a legacy behind. Yep. Yep. And that is what, this is what God is trying to give you. But these demons are blocking this. That's why it doesn't happen. Because you're afraid. Yep. Like this is, this is, this is what you deserve. This is what you're supposed to get. But these demons are purposely blocking this from you. By keeping you in the dark. And keeping you afraid. Yep. 
by basically abusing you. So that you don't think you deserve any of this when you do. That's the truth. Okay, um, let me show you the cards that came out. Ten of Cups. Hang on, wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. All right, let me just, um, I got distracted, okay. Death, yes, there's an ending going on. Yep, three kinds of ending. People will die because they're possessed by demons. They will die. And the angel of death, Archangel Michael, will, will get them. That's what they get. There will be an ending. And there's a lot of endings going on right now. They need to end. Because a lot of you have been scammed. Now you know the truth. Yep, and they need to end. Because if you don't end this scam, it will continue. So you're really supporting the scam if you don't end it. Um, you're supposed to be abundant. And you're supposed to win with six, six of wands. Yep, you're supposed to get all of this. But it's being blocked on purpose by your enemies. And you know who your enemies are. The same entities that are blocking all this. Yep, the same entities that are abusing you. All that, you know who they are. You know who they are. So, okay, 10 of cups and 10 of pentacles. Okay. And then death. Nine of pentacles. And six of wands. Yeah, and they, they support eternal love from God and eternal love being the key of life and eternal loving energy. They all support this, okay? Um, why the Ten of Cups? Page of Cups? Why the Ten of Pentacles? Queen of Pentacles, look at that. Oh, um, I forgot to mention that um, I, see, I see one zodiac sign, okay? Scorpio, the death card, number 13. So Scorpio is ruled by Mars and Pluto. And when you see death and judgment, that is Scorpio. And Scorpio is a water sign. Along with Cancer and Pisces. Not only are they um, very emotionally in tuned, but they're also very intuitive. Okay? Now you know that. If you didn't know that, now you know. Um, why death? Oh, Nine of Cups. Yes. Oh, look at that. Another divine number. You have the Nine of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. 99, another divine number. And that's what you're supposed to have. Yep, you're supposed to be happy. You're not supposed to struggle. You're supposed to be happy, but you know who's purposely making that hell. You know who's purposely blocking that. Now you know. Um, why the nine of pentacles? Look at that, you have 999, what? You have 999, nine of pentacles, nine of cups, nine of wands reversed, oh my God. This is like a really divine number, 999. Okay, why the six of wands? The devil reversed. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> so not only are you supported by the divine and the divine wants you to be happy and get all this, but that means that when the devil is reversed, um, it's the source of positivity. Yep. Yep. 
So this uh, is, when you see this, the devil, that's a Capricorn, okay? So Capricorn is ruled by Saturn. And we see this, the devil and the world, that's a Capricorn. Um, and the king of pentacles, look at that. The king of pentacles, I'm seeing another, I'm seeing a match here, even though you're not seeing it um, directly, but I'm seeing a match here. Queen of pentacles, a Taurus, and king of pentacles, a Capricorn. All right, I'm seeing it. That's what I'm seeing. Why the page of cups? Tang man. Why the queen of pentacles? And the magician. Why the nine of cups? Wheel of fortune. Why the nine of wands reversed? Oh my God, you have temperance here. Oh my God. Oh my God. And why is, why the devil reversed? Oh my God. Two of pentacles reversed. And um, what did the intuition want to say? Okay. <gasps> you have another divine number here. You have the six of cups. Oh my God. Okay, I just have to show that real quick. Six of wands. And the six of cups. Okay, 66. That's the divine number. So that's what my intuition wants to say. Six of cups. This is what his intuition wants to say. Three of pentacles. And this is what her intuition wants to say. Oh my God. Oh, what? What? Okay, so you have 666 here. I just... Oh my God. Yes, you have... Oh my God, look at that. You have the Six of Wands. Yes. 666, a divine number, a super duper divine number. I mean, that is like a divine number, 666. And then you have the, when you reverse it, it's 999. You just saw that in this reading. Oh my God, 666 and 999. So six of wands, six of cups, and six of swords, 666. Oh my God, look at that. Alright, um, <clears throat> look at that, you have the temperance card. Look, you have, what? Oh my god! You have all these cards next to each other, these zodiac signs. Pisces, Gemini, Virgo, Sagittarius, and Sagittarius again. Oh my god, look at that. Look at that. You're supposed to get all this because you're an angel. It doesn't matter if you're from this planet or not. You're an angel. You're supposed to get all this. So why are you letting these demons scare you when you're an angel? And you have all this protection because you're an angel. Yeah. It's like um, the enemies purposely dim your light and purposely convince you that you're the opposite of what you are which is an angel yep now you know who you are and if you don't know who you are then you deserve what you get you will continue to be attacked by these demons if you don't remind them who you really are and who they're really attacking like what i'm doing now
Because if you don't do that, then they will continue to make you afraid until you're no longer afraid of them and you call them out for who they really are, okay? So that's what I'm seeing. And I mean, look at this, temperance. Look at that, Archie Michael. <laughs> I mean, let me just share that because that's what I'm seeing, okay? Look at that, you have eternal love from Archangel Michael and then Archangel Michael again in this reading with temperance. Look at that. <laughs> yes, all these angels and the divine beings and all that, they're your army too. They're your protection too. So if you're on my side, then you're on, on God's side and you have all of that. What I'm getting, you're getting. Okay. Okay. All right. So these are the signs that I'm seeing so far, okay? Zodiac signs. Uh, Scorpio, Taurus, Capricorn. Pisces, um, Gemini, Virgo, Sagittarius, Sagittarius again, all right, and Chico happens to be a Sagittarius. <laughs> yeah, so he would be the temperance. <laughs> That's not a coincidence. And it's not a coincidence either about his eye color and hair color. It's not a coincidence. It's it's a sign. <laughs> All right. So again, Sagittarius cards. I'm telling you, when you see the Temperance card and the Wheel of Fortune, they're both under Sagittarius. So Sagittarius um, is ruled by Jupiter, and when you see Temperance and the Wheel of Fortune in the same order, exactly. This is Sagittarius right there. Not only do you have a very strong connection because you have the two cups and the lovers combined and the temperance, but you're also gonna have luck. Things will go your way. Those are your cards. That's why you're very lucky. So if you're a Sagittarius and you're born in that zodiac sign, this is your card. <laughs> okay. And that may be why you're so positive. Um, all right. So I'm seeing they and then he and he. Okay, so I'm going to say he unless I'm guided to say uh, she or they. All right. So he wants a happy ending. He wants to have a uh, water sign child. He has surrendered and he also um, has a change in perspective. Yeah, he has sur surrendered to the divine. Um, he will he will get the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups because that's what he deserves. I mean, if he's been loyal to the divine and doing everything for the divine and tolerate all the abuse that he's gone through from the enemies, then yeah, the scales will be balanced. So all everything that was supposed to be handed to him, given to him, that were blocked from him, will be given to him now. Now that he knows the truth, they will be given to him. Okay? Um, yeah, so he will not only get abundance, but a legacy as well. Um, his match is the Queen of Pentacles. She's a Taurus. She's an aspect of the Empress, who's also a Taurus. Um, she's maternal, nurturing. 
and abundant. Okay, so you have abundance and more abundance because his match is also abundant. And then the Empress is also abundant. So you have a lot of abundance coming in. Um, not only is God a magician, but he's also a magician because he's an angel. And that's why he's able to manifest anything he wants very quickly. If he's, if he's been doing this since he was... As a, if he's been doing this since he was a child, then, yep, he's able to manifest anything very quickly. So then he became a magician. Um, he's going through an ending and change and dealing with uh, loss. His wishes will be fulfilled he has a very strong connection, very strong. You have um, the two of cups and the lovers combined, and that's you, that's when you get temperance. So this connection may be with his match, the Queen of Pentacles, who's also an aspect of the Empress. Okay. Um. More abundance. I mean, the pre-empress is very abundant. So more abundance. Do you see how like more abundance? Um, he's a wounded warrior. So he was wounded before by the enemy, but no, mm, I don't think so. So he's healing. When the nine of wands is reversed, that means he's healing. So he's he went from a wounded warrior to a healing warrior and he's still a warrior it's just he's healing things will go in his favor he will win he knows that when the devil is reversed that's the source of positivity along with the sun along with uh, people he trusts and God okay he knows that and um, the enemy used to Making feel juggled, juggled before, and they tried to, ju to juggle him, but no. When the two of pentacles is reversed, that means that he's balanced because he has healed all that. If he hasn't healed the damage that the enemy has done to him in the past, then um, he's not balanced at all. Yep, and that's why he has to heal all that damage because that is how. The enemy gets in through that damage. If you're healed, then they can't get in. There's no entry point. Okay. Um, so that's what I was going to say and share. Let me go ahead and um, show you what came up from the intuitions. And um, this is also what the Trinity wanted to share. So you have eternal love from Archangel Michael. You have the key of life, spinning the onk, the key of life from Lady Isis. And number 36, energy. You're never alone or helpless. The force that guides the stars guides you too. And it's by Sri Shur Anandamurti. Okay, that's what Lord Buddha is saying okay and then when you combine all this that's what you get you get the truth the trinity having said that i hope i helped you in some way and i'll talk to you again soon